Sixor has announced the recent delivery of the next generation squad weapon system to the US Army, consisting of lightweight, high performance 6.8 mm hybrid ammunition, lightweight machine guns, rifles, and suppressors. For the US Army, the next generation squad weapons program targets a family of products that includes a rifle and an automatic rifle that integrate an advanced fire control and common 6.8 mm ammunition. The rifle and the lightweight machine guns are the planned replacement for the weapon system for individual soldiers, squads and or platoons. The next generation fire control increases the probability of hit and increases engagement time through a variable powered direct view optic with an integrated rangefinder ballistic calculator with a digital display capable of providing an adjusted aim point. In 2019, Army Recognition interviewed Paul Snyder, a product manager from Sixor in charge of the company's participation to this program. Here is what he told us. Uh, welcome to AUSA 2019. Uh, my name is Paul. I'm with Sig Sauer. So what we have in front of us today uh, are the two submission guns that we have for Next Gen Squad Weapon Program, as well as the ammunition. So really what I would like to start with is the ammunition. The ammunition is what is key to the program. That is the commonality between both platforms. Uh, the MCX Spear is our magazine-fed submission, and the MG 6.8 is our belt-fed submission. So the, the program really starts out with a projectile. It all comes down to the projectile. Uh, that's the business end. That's what uh, the Army's trying to achieve, uh, is deliver this projectile downrange with a known effective rate. So if you look at the, the U.S. program and the world that's following suit, everyone's about enhanced lethality. So standoff distance, overmatch capabilities. So it's all about keeping your military safe at a safe distance to an engage an enemy, to identify that enemy uh, and engage them before they become a threat. So we'll start with the M6 Spear. It's your typical M4 platform, right? If you look at this from the outside envelope, it really doesn't look much different than any other assault rifle that's on the market today. Uh, a lot of the things that we had to do to the gun are internal to the weapon, and we left the outside of the weapon so that soldiers that already know AR-type platforms can transition into this weapon easily. So AR-style controls, right? AR-style grip and AR-style uh, stock controls. We go to full auto and then semi. Uh, we also incorporated a side charging handle into this weapon system. Again, it's transitioning infantrymen to belt-fed soldiers. Belt-fed soldiers are comfortable with an infantryman gun. So the side charging handle is extremely nice. It keeps you on target. It keeps your trigger hand free to do the, the business end of things while you manipulate the weapon with your offhand. So this is our machine gun. This is our belt-fed submission. Uh, feeds from starter belts that you can have in 50 or 100. And again, it's M-Force type controls. It's controls that a soldier is used to using on his infantry uh, weapon that is now transferable to a belt-fed weapon. So our magazines load simply like any other any other magazine. It would click in, you take your starter belt, you jam it in the feed tray, and you're ready to go to battle. So here we have our submission for, for belt-fed machine gun. Again, side charging handle, right? It detents to the outward position. You charge it when you return, non-reciprocating, when you return a charging handle to the forward position, you actually get rid of that catch point. So we have a spring detented closed and detented out. Gives you nice options. We kept the, uh, the five position extendable stock, right? Also side folding. Uh, we have our 45 degree mounts on this. Again, a, a requirement that we were needed to submit the guns with. Uh, but our iron sights can either mount on these 45 degrees or they can mount on a continuous Picatinny rail. So we can load this with our side folding uh, feet cover. We can actually load this with the feet cover down. No need to lift the cover to load the weapon. So if you're in a threat situation, you've, you've fired out your, your ammo and you need to change, you would simply release the magazine, install a new magazine, and jam the belt in and back up and running. No need to come up from cover, lift the cover, look, check, sweep links anymore. Well, keep in mind that Defense Web TV has more than 1,400 videos on its YouTube channel. So please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell here under to be informed of the latest defense and security news.